Okay, we're working with the consumption function. Consumption equals autonomous consumption plus maximum propensity to consume disposable income. And we have some values. This one is 300 plus 0 0.6 disposable income. That's our marginal propensity to consume. Now what we have to do is to put this in a diagram. And we do it like this. This is our <coughs> horizontal axis and we put disposable income on this axis. And here we put consumption spending. Now, given the information, this 300 will be our intercept here, or 300, the autonomous part of consumption, and the slope of the line is determined by the marginal propensity to consume. In this case, it will be 1 more point 6, meaning for every one rand increase in disposable income, your consumption will increase with 60 cents. Then we say, let's see, well, you must show what happens if income increases from 500 to 600 in this uh, consumption model. And it's done like this. Assume this is 500, then it means this will be the consumption at 500, and there's an increase to 600, that's an increase of 100. In other words, at 600 that will be the consumption. Now the increase here, given the margin propensity of 0 0.6, equals 60. So we can see now how an increase of 100 leads to an increase of 60. There's another way you could have done this, is by just using your consumption function. It's like the one where output is 500. Then we say that means it is consumption is 300 plus 0 0.6 500 equals 300 plus 300 equals 600. So this value here will be 600. At a value of 600 for the level of output, we get 300 plus 0 0.6 times 600. It's 300 plus 360 equals 600, 660. So this level here, it is 660, and there is your increase of 60, from 600 to 660.